Notebook LM has become one of the most powerful tools for working with complex information. It works from real sources, connects ideas across them, and helps you make sense of large amounts of research very quickly on its own. It's already useful. But when you combine Notebook LM with Gemini, it becomes even more powerful. So in this video, I'll show you how to combine these two tools to save hours of work and turn research into stunning visual interactive formats. So let's get started. For our first use case, we're going to combine Notebook LM and Gemini to create a clear evidence-based landing page on the real side effects of GLP-1 medications. So let's start by creating a new notebook. Then we go to the search box and select Use Deep Research to pull in extensive reputable articles. Then we add this prompt, Research the side effects of GLP-1 receptor agonist medications, including common, less common, and emerging effects using reputable medical and scientific sources. Focus on mechanisms not anecdotal claims. Once the deep research is complete, we import all the articles to our notebook. Next, we add a series of follow-up questions in Notebook LM to generate specific insights from the evidence. For example, we can ask things like, which side effects are considered expected based on the drug's mechanism of action? What patterns appear during the dose escalation phase? This allows us to surface insights we might otherwise miss. Once we have all of this information, we move to step two, which is adding structure and organization. As right now, we have a lot of information, but it's still raw. So we add this prompt based on these sources, group GLP one side effects into clear categories and explain the underlying mechanisms behind each group. And now you can see we have clearly structured, organized categories that explain not just what the side effects are, but why they happen. And once we have this clean, structured output, that's when we move over to Gemini to turn it into our landing page. In Gemini, we click Add File, choose Notebook LM, and select the GLP-1 notebook. We also switch on Canvas mode. Now we add our prompt, create a clean, professional landing page explaining the real side effects of GLP-1 medications using only the imported notebook. Start with a clear introduction explaining what GLP-1 medications are and why side effects occur. Group side effects into clear sections. Use short, scannable explanation blocks written in a calm, educational tone. Include subtle visual card-based sections and clear spacing to make complex information easy to explore. So look at this result. So we end up with a professional looking landing page that is extremely well designed. The title is clear and professional. You can see at a glance the tier one common and expected effects then too. What varies by individual and what's still under investigation. The cards are well laid out and they indicate the prevalence, timing and a short explanation of what is said about each effect. The mechanism of action flow is highlighted. Instead of abstract explanations, you can follow the process step by step and the timeline at the end ties it all together, showing how effects change over time and why early experiences don't always last. Overall, this brings to life the research-backed information that we extracted from Notebook through a well-designed resource. And that's exactly what combining Notebook LM and Gemini makes possible. For this next use case, we're going to combine Notebook LM and Gemini to create a clear evidence-based interactive app on cognitive biases and the hidden psychology behind everyday decisions. So let's start by creating a new notebook in Notebook LM. Then we go to the search box and this time we'll select fast research to find our psychology and behavioral science sources. Then we add this prompt, research common cognitive biases that influence everyday decisions such as confirmation bias, loss aversion, availability bias, anchoring and overconfidence using reputable psychology and behavioral science sources. Focus on how these biases show up in real life decision making, not abstract definitions. Once the research is complete, we import all the articles into our notebook. From this point on, everything Notebook LM generates is grounded in those sources. Again, we add a series of follow-up questions in Notebook LM to generate specific insights from the evidence. For example, we can ask things like, in what types of everyday situations does each bias most commonly appear? Why do people usually feel confident in biased decisions at the time? So now we get a feel for not only what the biases are, but how they actually operate in real life. Once we have all of this information, we move to step two, where we structure our content. So we add this prompt, based on these sources, group cognitive biases by the types of decision situations they influence and explain how each bias shapes thinking in those moments. Not just a list of biases, but grouped decision patterns. Next, we want to create the scenarios that we will use in our app. So we ask Notebook LM, based on these sources, generate realistic everyday decision scenarios where these cognitive biases are likely to influence a person's 
choice. This gives us short, believable scenarios around things like work, money, health, planning, and social influence. Now we have everything we need for the app, scenarios, choices, and evidence-backed explanations. And now we can head over to Gemini to turn it into our interactive app. In Gemini, we click Add File, choose Notebook LM, and select the Cognitive Biases Notebook. We also switch on Canvas Mode. Now we add our prompt, create an interactive scenario-based app using the imported notebook. Each screen should present one realistic decision scenario with multiple plausible choices. After the user selects an option, reveal the cognitive bias most commonly associated with that choice and explain why it influences thinking in that situation. Use a clean card-based layout with one scenario per screen, clear progression, and subtle visual cues. And here's the result. We have an interactive experience that helps people notice how their thinking works while they're in the middle of making a decision. The app presents a realistic scenario like planning a holiday after seeing alarming news. You're asked what you would do in each scenario. Once you choose, the app reveals what likely influenced that decision, linking it back to a specific cognitive bias and explaining it in plain language. And the reflection prompt at the end allows users to think about their own habits rather than telling them what they should have done. Notebook LM makes sure every scenario and explanation is grounded in real behavioral science. Gemini turns that evidence into something people can actually experience and learn from. The progress bar and card-based flow make it feel like a journey. You can use this in training sessions or with students or even on your own as a simple way to reflect on how you make decisions and how you learn. So that's the full workflow from research in Notebook LM to building interactive apps and landing pages with Gemini. So try applying the same approach to a topic you're learning or teaching and see how much clearer complex information becomes. If you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.